well there welcome back so this is my second lecture um to introduction to machine learning and we are actually um discussing in the form of story uh, the evolution of artificial intelligence and how artificial intelligence machine learning deep learning they are going to change our society we are discussing all this and in that context i uh, introduce you that this is bringing the fourth industrial revolution uh, since uh, 2010 then of course you know the other uh, three industrial revolutions actually um, man used to live uh, before industrial revolution primarily on farming and then actually from first industrial revolution you know uh, is known as first one first industrial revolution it uh, is uh, supposed to take place from 1760s to 1840s of course there are transition period and primarily uh, during that industrial revolution uh we started learning how to exploit uh coal water and that gave birth to steam engine and that steam engine act as a prime mover to this to this revolution all sort of heavy industries like textile and other industries they were um big vessels everywhere steam engine were used so they are dominated by coal water steam engine okay then second revolution second industrial revolution uh, second industrial revolution actually started from 19 a 80s 18s that is 19th century to 20th century well there are transition period but they were marked by uh, the discovery of electricity so this industrial revolution was driven by electricity and ic engine internal combustion engine which use see them everywhere car bus truck scooter everywhere like right? internal combustion engine and electricity you see motor um, household all devices okay that started during this time okay uh, they started transforming the society that is called second industrial revolution third industrial revolution they started from 1850s onwards to till uh, 2000 okay that was marked by the invention of computer then transistor then ics integrated uh, circuits right integrated circuit chips so all these actually started revolutionizing our society transforming our society so these are the industrial revolutions okay we are talking about prior to the industrial revolution which we are focusing in and that day we were discussing that how uh, using an hybrid um, architecture deep blue a super computer uh program could actually defeat the great chess player gary kasparov you see those are all milestone 2002 rumba a floor cleaning autonomous robot was developed by a company i robot and that witnessed perhaps first commercial success because any product 
unless they enter to the common man's household. Of course, robots are there in the industry for long. But how about common man, serving the common man? This is the first robot which had potential okay, to uh, work uh, inside home for cleaning floor, which is every day's requirement. So Roomba got success, at least it showed some potential uh, of success. Then 2005, US Army started investing a lot of money on autonomous robot. And as a result, Boston Dynamics developed a uh, big dog, you know, and they served as a, uh, as a co-worker uh, for the army in Afghanistan and other world where terrain is very uh, rough and they could carry load um, which earlier horse used to do um, in those terrain. So they were deployed there. So Roomba, again, is very simple. It has sensor and it um, sometimes learn in a very simple way to avoid obstacle, okay? So using sensory data. Then another disruptive thing happened in 2005 with Google Map. And <laughs> every day, everybody is now using Google Map uh, in the Android uh, uh, phone. So you have Google Map, so you can um, navigate and um, you can locate yourself, you can navigate yourself. And the technology which Google is using for developing such um, products are amazing based on um, uh, machine learning um, and artificial intelligence. Then again, 2008, Google launched a speech recognition app for new iPhones. And it was first step towards the development of Apple Siri, which all of us um, conversed with. Then Google Assistant, Amazon Alex. So a bunch of um, intelligent uh, agents came into existence okay, due to speech recognition um, system up to um, acceptable limit. And that happened in 2008. 2011, the cognitive computing engine of, again, IBM's Watson took on the champion players of the TV game show, Jeopardy, and defeated them, <laughs> winning some one million US dollars. So that's the uh, strength IBM Watson uh, demonstrated in 2011. 2012, true power of deep learning was unveiled when the world saw that computer can learn to identify cats. Don't think that uh, what is big deal here. Yes, it's a big deal because uh, out of ImageNet where several um, hundreds of uh, images are there, computer programs start learning right from the images and um, started uh, recognizing very accurately the images. CAT signifies a great um, development in this area of uh, machine learning and deep learning. Then again, 2014, after 64 years of struggle, a chatbot called Eugenie Goatsman passed the Turing test. I told you what Turing test is. So it took so many years, 2014, first product is a chatbot in the form of a chatbot passed the Turing test. Then 2015, you see, machines see better than humans. That was actually demonstrated that machine could see better than humans. Again, referring to ImageNet challenge, uh, some of you might know, those who do not know, that ImageNet uh, started a contesting um, uh, challenge uh, in 2010 and 
there the participants demonstrating their skill of developing the algorithm uh, and it reached to that level that the algorithm uh, the accuracy of or recognition uh, were developed from 71.8% to 97.3% promoting the research to declare that computer could actually identify objects from visual data more accurately perhaps than humans. Don't you think that's a great milestone the artificial intelligence achieved? Then in 2018, another milestone, self-driving car hits the road. This very significant milestone achieved by a Google spin-up company who am on self-driving taxi service in Phoenix, Arizona. So these are all breakthrough, okay? And each of them can lead to, in future, many uh, developments, okay, which will take the society further to a further height. Then 2020, so now all about how computer should know natural language, okay? So 2020, natural language processing reached to a new height okay so again you see open eye uh, that is an ai research lab in san francisco um, and the developer of the generative pre-trained transformer generative pre-trained transformer abbreviation is gpt in series actually they were this cha great challenge is how computer can learn Natural language. By the way, I think you guys know the difference between natural language and formal language. Formal language, computer understand and we program, for example, C, C++, basic, Fortran, all. They are formal language, okay, Java, everything, formal language. But natural language is a language um, in which we speak, we communicate, English, Hindi, Bengali, those are all natural language. So great challenge is how computer can understand natural language and process them. Because natural, there is nothing as vague as natural language. If you just see, when you talk, when you communicate using natural language, uh, especially it is understood when uh, you are speaking mother tongue, you, you see that lots of ambiguous, meaningless things, you speak, but still you communicate. So that understanding that by a computer is challenging. So that 2020, that GPT-3, okay, uh, is the, as a largest AI-based pre-trained language model evolved, uh, which could process during learning 175 billion parameters. So, so many parameters in a gigantic uh, neural network um, were deployed with so many parameters to learn the natural language processing with great success. Uh, it's the biggest, it's the biggest accomplishment in the domain of natural language processing so far. So this can take our technology to a new height. You see, the moment computer will uh, will be capable of processing natural languages the way we do, then it can do wonders. For example, from uh, images, it can write story. From story, it can draw images. And um, it can make conversation with some personality, big personality, those who are not existing even. Okay, so using generative model, these are all fantastic things which are all possible. Uh, and generative model, again, um, giving tremendous um, um, possibility uh, in drawing the great artwork of Leonardo da Vinci, for example. Uh, very recently, um, uh, the great creation of Mona Lisa uh, started talking. Uh, we, um, that means you can just uh, make a dialogue 
with Mona Lisa or many other Picasso and other um, uh, artists artwork can be generated the way uh, they develop them okay thanks to many uh, generative model of deep learning so those are very exciting things which we'll discuss in another course which will be followed by uh, the machine learning course uh, in your sixth semester or in seventh semester you should take that course to learn more exciting thing about this now what are the expectation from 2021 we had great expectations from 2021 we envision that in uh, healthcare the artificial intelligence will greatly uh, be involved and serve the humanity in actually um, automating many devices like uh, ct scan mri scan then digital x-ray so the information uh, which are there in an automated way if we can deploy ai to flawlessly uh, retrieve the useful information only from from these that will be a great uh, help for um, medical diagnosis then drug discovery drug design you see uh, now world is passing through a global pandemic um, uh, as you know covid 19 virus is actually infecting millions and millions of people and remarkably uh, the AI, artificial intelligence, uh, are helping uh, greatly and can help in monitoring the disease, uh, how disease is propagating and what kind of uh, actions we need to formulate or our politician, our leaders need to follow to save the society from catastrophic effect of the pan uh, global pandemic situation. One hundred years before, we had similar kind of global pandemic, uh, Spanish flu, where uh, many more people died uh, because we did not have a technology. Now, artificial intelligence greatly helping um, not uh, in, in, in uh, combating uh, this pandemic as well. And we will formulate many uh, interesting problems to show you that how many machine learning tools can help uh, in predicting um, covid related uh, infections and many other interesting things so all these exciting things you are going to witness and we all are very very fortunate and lucky that we are witnessing in our lifetime the fourth industrial revolution in the form of um, uh, which artificial intelligence is bringing here the, um, uh, the life expectancy is going to be improved uh, because healthcare is getting um, very uh, is getting very exciting technologies all across in um, diagnosis in automation healthcare automation healthcare diagnosis system and then drug discovery drug design then um, you see uh, vaccine uh, design also all kind of things can be dominated by artificial intelligence and they are dominating actually so and where uh, it will take our society um, actually it is impacting every fields now okay recommendation system um, music system then we have now um, interactive television, right? So we want to uh, uh, listen or watch some of our desired um, content. It is possible today, and in a in a uh, commercial way, uh, companies like Netflix, Amazon Prime, all they are exploiting uh, this uh, technology. This technology also helping other businesses uh, to a great extent to make uh, to generate revenue and that's the reason perhaps you know, that uh, this is a revolution today and 
this revolution is driven by data. And as you can see, uh, every individual nowadays are generating data, knowingly or unknowingly. You are WhatsApping some images, chatting, then you are uh, accessing many social media like Facebook, um, Instagram, and all kind of things, right? So in the process, you are generating lots of data. And those data are being utilized by industry, academia, to develop very exciting, uh, very interesting model uh, to get desired result. And those modeling techniques, tools, you will be taught uh, in this course. So that will be, I think, very exciting. Stay tuned and we are all going to tell you those stories. So these are some of the references. Okay. And wish you, I wish you all the best and stay safe. Uh, goodbye.